Hey guys, Sibs on Tidy here, and on this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario, that thousand year old door, we are going to head through this thousand year old door. And I don't mean thousand year old door, I mean thousand year door because I keep on saying it. But actually, on this episode, after defeating those little guys in here, we've realized we're in an X Not Moon Force Beatrice. Beatrice, yes. That we've actually seen before in a couple of the interludes. So let's head through here and run into another one of these guys who's idiot and looking the complete wrong way. I think he might hear these sliding doors open. I mean, he might think it's like a, a friend of me who's coming here and yes we can do it with just a regular jump so this fight should be really quick and hopefully he'll drop that item that i'll never use again i don't know why i keep saying that that i want people to drop items because i don't even do that oh and i think we're gonna get our level up yep just by a tiny sliver so now you obviously know what we're gonna pick again because like i said before we're good enough with the HP and flower power. We can just go straight to badge points in 45 wow i i know i still need more but 45 still a lot because there's the, the game just becomes so much easier if you spend it on badge points. Once you have enough that you feel comfortable with an HP and flower power, you just gotta go for badge points. And what do we want to put on? Something good with three. Huh. Hmm. We probably want to save it up for maybe like a defend plus or quick change still that I should have put on. Ah, uh, do I want to? Having the better partner out or having them do more damage when they're out? Hmm. I think for now, I just want to show off quick change of how good it is. And then power plus P is going to be our next badge that we'll have to wait one more after that. Ah, so many are just so close that you can't get them. Next time we go to Dazzle or something, we need to buy another power plus. I just want to, I want to have a complete beast Mario for the rest of the game. It just, it, it's a lot of fun just destroying enemies and ooh, memory puzzles. So basically, you can see here this part of the floor lights up, and then you gotta go one step more, and then if you step on the wrong, ah, I dip. I, I was just doing that to show it off, no big deal. And I think just so I remember, and poor Goombella trying to come back to me, if you step on the wrong thing, you get shocked like that, and you'll get sent to the beginning of the puzzle. Let's see. Oh, it's different every time. Oh, that's so much easier. Just gotta turn at that one and it's annoying how they changed the camera angle to show you that oh what ah oh, i should have just jumped let's do this that that can i just jump yes screw the rules i have money but now we have the elevator keys so we can go on things and these things magically turn off when we grab that so we can go over and get this item which is a super shroom that we really don't need that I probably wish I had doing that one trouble that I wasted a really expensive shroom on. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta further recognize my drug use and is this the elevator or is there another elevator? Please insulate the elevator key. That's probably self-explanatory. There we go. And now let's choose our level. I believe, oh, they look exactly like the things from uh, Pokemon Coliseum. The who's he what's it? The, the things on the real game tower that go up and down. I never realized that. They're just like little pod things. I wonder if they have that in Japan or just they they like inventing magical technology. Technology. It's from the Czech Republic. It's called technology. Ow! Excuse me. I'm just trying to walk down a hallway. You don't need to slap me in the face. Oh, a scientist. He must know what's going on. Do we have? No, we haven't had a title before. I really like his character mod. He just looks cool. Mr. Scientist. I don't know why I do that whenever I'm calling someone. But X not PhD. That, that's a great name. So basically, he uses a bunch of potions, just like the ones we used on Peach. And he can get really annoying. But we'll just take out this dude, which is the far more annoying of these. And then we'll just deal with this random potion that he pulls out of his jacket. Hello. Ow. Yeah. Will we still be able to take him out? And, well, not if I screw up my action command. I think with power bounce, yeah, we should still be able to. Wow! Even with drop to attack, we can still knock this guy out with one power bounce. Uh, I, I've, I've been, I really enjoy, I really enjoy the, the strategy and picking your badges and stuff for the game. It's, it's really enjoyable. I just, something about it and when you have a good combo that works as well and mm, teleporter i want to go where are we going to space oh, oh, space and we should probably get that gear in the background too let's see where this teleport takes us to wait is this where the last shine spray is no it's not so we're in some random room we don't have the epic band the moon music again where the heck are we well, let's shut out this door and 
We're in that unopened door in Rogueport. We're underneath Rogueport. The cross Nazis is that thing that come here from the moon. So, if you ever want to teleport back to the moon or from Rogueport, instead of having a pipe for the area, they have this little thing. And thank God we can go back in that door. I was afraid we couldn't go back in. But you just have to press this button, step into light, and you can teleport back and forth between the moon. If you really need to come back and get something, or you wanted to do that final upgrade once you get that last shine sprite, you could do that. But I still forget where that last shine sprite is. I'll find it eventually. But I'm, I'm almost 100% sure it's in the fortress, and we don't already have it already, right? Okay, nope, I'm not crazy. So, it looks like we can't get that through any means unless we could jump on top of those things. So, back you'll have to wait till later. So let's check out a couple of these other doors in here and hopefully not get smacked in the face as soon as we walk out in the hallway. Get! Like I said before, let's walk down- I can't even collect the spoils from the battle because it's probably like halfway down the room, man. I don't think we'll be tattling anyone soon enough, so let's get this- Let's get our speed run pack this on and hop on Gary. So let's check out another more of these rooms before we get slapped in the face again, and I believe- Yeah, this is the potion room, and quite fittingly, there's one of the scientists in here so we can loop around. Ah, he got me midair. Hopefully it's one of the- No, it has to be an offensive potion, not a defensive potion, it's just an explosion, that's good. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Let's go gulp, and then we can probably- Yeah, we can gulp and probably multi-bounce them to kill them. I wonder if- Nah, I, I don't have nine attack power, and I think these guys even have one defense. So I guess, yeah, that was what we should definitely do. Because I can't just kill them by myself. You know, as much as I want to by Mario, uh, I can't be a complete beast without my partners. I'm nothing without them, but nothing really in here. Here, we can jump up on these things like we couldn't do with Peach because... No, we can't! Can we jump up on this one? They just... It looks like... Oh, no, you can't. I thought it just looked like that gap that just... You, so close, you have to go for the jump. Like, between, like, two couches or two beds in a hotel room. You just gotta... You gotta go for that jump. Keep the workspace orderly. I have some stuff to do. So I'm not coming to the work tomorrow, and that's that. Real talk, bro. Just... I don't... I got stuff to do. I, I can't work, so let's bash this guy in the... God, I can't get one first strike on these dudes. And also, it sucks that I don't get my uh, free thing on them. Ooh, and my HP is slowly going down. That's never good. But let's multi-bounce on these, and we should be able to one-turn them again. Hopefully, Gary will be strong enough. If, it, if it's by one point, I'm gonna be mad at myself. Nope, we're good. That taking off that one badge is not hurting me. And see, this is why I like efficiency in my battles. I mean, I could bring in Stampede instead of doing Gulp, and it probably would knock them out maybe a lot faster. But it's just efficiency. I'm going for the fastest battle possible. Oh, great, another one of these puzzles. Wait. Oh, no, it's in the background. Yeah, I remember as a kid, I would get so pissed off because I didn't realize what was going on. I think even on my last playthrough, I was... I was being, ow, really idiotic and completely forgot how to do this, and hopefully I don't kill my- Actually, no! I never use items, and I just got this item for no apparent reason. Let's use that on Mario, and I believe those are like- Let me show them off real quick. I don't play- I haven't played much of the first Paper Mario, but I believe those uh, little thingamajigs, they look like the little- that at least looks like Mario's from the little bit I've seen of paper, the first Paper Mario. It looks like Mario's little overworld thing on the first Paper Mario. Maybe I'm crazy and maybe I just haven't seen a lot of first Paper Mario. I'm guessing that's Yeah, and we can- Oh, no! No! I don't want to die! Uh, and it's good- No, Flurry! You're- you're- you're worthless! I'm sorry, I don't want to be mean to you, Flurry. There you go! And I like how there's two maps of the map there. So now we come down to one before, go that way, go that way, go all the way to the end of the room. Yay, we win! And I believe we get another elevator key or a card key in. Just the thing that opens the door. So we're back in the, uh, which call it fortress? The Team Rocket thing, except some idiot is like, Oh no! I dropped the card key! Might as well leave it and run away! Well, I guess that would be kind of smart for his life, because we, in that game, we just beat him up with giant hulking monsters. I believe we were already in here. Yep, we just beat him up with giant hulking monsters, and all of his hulking monsters are dead. So, if we really want to, we could just murder him in cold blood. And that's what Pokemon's all about, right? WRONG! So let's head over here, let me double check these doors because I forget this is probably the teleporter- No, it's room I didn't check, see? See, I'm smart sometimes, right? No, we're gonna get our first strike on this dude right now! <sighs> well, he didn't get a first strike on us, I guess that's a plus somehow- Oh, great, there's more of those! And when there's two, this makes it awful, especially because- Oh no! It's a lower level one, so I don't have to tattle him, so let's multi-bounce. That should, uh, oh yeah, yeah, we can multi-bounce, and then Gulp will only affect him, so we'll 
crash on him, and this is always the loudest thing. You can definitely hear that in my mic, because this turtle beach is really sensitive, but that, the sound that that makes when you're doing that is just ridiculously loud and obnoxious. It's one of the button mashing things I'm surprisingly good at, and nice job, Gary. Look at that. Oh, cool, the flower. Ooh, should I? Nah, I'm not going to wait around just to get more flower power. If I really want to, I can sweet feast. Who's leaving a comment on really old videos that I still have to go and reply to those comments? I got some this morning when I woke up. It's like, yeah, I'll reply to them, and I just left the tab open. I haven't done anything yet because I'm lazy, and I just got up again and straight and went to videos. It's a lot of fun, but we can see by this little hint here that we can bash our head into the wall, and it looks like I didn't completely mention this. Oh, this is where they create the X-Knots. They're like... X not. That sounds. That sounds wrong. I don't. No, not the X. Not the X. Not Ux. The X Ux. Whatever. The the X things. You know what I'm talking. Excuse me. Talking about. Who's calling? Everything's ruining. And you can head up here. I don't know why I always complain when people call, especially when I'll be cons. Rag conservative. NRG conservative. Huh. So. I don't care, but we just teleported up here, and I don't know why I have to mention every damn time I get a phone call, it's like, hmm, I think the viewers will care about this. Something that I don't care about? Yeah! So as you can see, there's a bunch of doors. Also, a star piece over here that we can drop down into, so let's try door number one all the way on the right, so I, all the way on the left, so I don't forget about it. And completely useless. I wish we could hop back in there, but the great there. So let's cut back to where we are and try the next door. Dur, 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 dur. I could have definitely done this in a better order. I could have actually started with the first one I saw and then did that, but there's nothing in there, so let's check out this one. Zoop. And hey, now we can finally get the gear that we were looking for, so let's head over here, grab our good buddy Coops, finally getting some screen time, and I believe, let me check that, because I can't go back anyway. Could I have also used Gary for this? And yep, you can use Gary or Coops with that, and then you get this weird being stuck up there type of thing. So let's check out the other doors that we still have to check. So now that we're done all the ones on the left, let's head right and there's only one door left. So I thought there's more multiple ones, but there's not that many rooms on this level. So pff, nothing special or... No, oh, I forgot about this. We turned into 8-Bit Mario. Oh yeah, because this is the changing room where Peach did her thing. And we get... Oh, listen to the music. Can we ride on... Oh, we can't ride on him. So yeah, there's this little easter egg that I completely forgot about that looks so cool. I wonder what happens to all the other- I guess all the other partners have to have some sort of 8-bit thing. But, uh, I- Gary looks perfect even though Gary's like apparently our height now. Can we read these things while in 8-bit mode? No! How they activate switch. Left, right, middle. Okay, left, right, middle, left, right, middle, up, right, up, right, left, down, A, B, something, something. Uh, left, right, middle. Oh, I'm going to forget these things. Uh, write it down, write it down, write it down, write it down, write it down. Uh, thank god I have a pencil and paper. I believe this code is different every time you play the game, and I completely forgot that I even needed to check this room. And, uh, the non-nostalgia is very left, right, middle. I'll write it down even though I don't think it's left, right, middle. Is it? Left, right, middle. Okay, we're all good in the hood. And I believe, can we exit? Yeah, do we? I don't think we stay if we exit the room, sadly. Aw, it's just a little nice little Easter egg that's really cool. I, I like that little throwback to the original Mario. I, I'm really happy they went back and did the new Super Mario series. And oh, this is going to be a long fight. Huh. Oh, no, that's even worse. Uh, what do we do? Hmm. Huh. I just say we go with... Attacks that don't use up flower power and not waste our flower power on this fight, but still actively attack these guys and hope for the best. If we get two attacks in this fog, that'd be great. Nope! Uh, Gary just broke his butt. Poor guy. SpongeBob knows how he feels. And, uh, he gets lucky. And hopefully we'll go one and one, it'll be fair. Yep, well, I had dodgy, so you really can't tell if it was from the fog or just from the dodgy. And thank god that cleared. So let's, yeah, we'll multi bounce and then gulp. That's the best strategy here because it should take out both of these guys. Uh, it really sucks that gulp's a high flower power, but it does do tons of damage, so that makes sense. But there we go, a bunch of star points for that battle for just taking out this one guy in the whole way. Well, more like five guys, but it's it, five guys and he didn't have any burgers and fries, which made me very sad. They have really good burgers. I need the, I could go for a burger right now. Thanks a lot, Nintendo. It's all your fault. And ooh, we're in the. 
God damn it! Every time I want to enjoy something, it's just like, hey, you want to get slapped in the face? And it slaps me in the face. Oh yeah, this is the guy I forgot. This is another one of the guys I forgot to tattle on my first playthrough. I don't know if I came back from. I don't think I did. But he's a. I think he can create two at a time. Oh yeah, we've quick switch on. So I can just be like, oh no, I don't need Go Bell right now. And we can route coops. I'm like, nah, I'm not feeling the coops. Oh god, that's so helpful. That saves so much time, especially when I enjoy tattling people. So let's see what this guy's up to. That's an X Ux. I hear his red cross. See, there's the cross. There's the cross. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm talking about now. See, the there's the one that messaged the cross. Anyway, this new Ux is design designate design. Yeah, designed to protect extra important areas. I guess designated would also work too. They were designed to be unbeatable. They're not. <laughs> Max HP is then attack is three and defense is one. It can produce. Yep. So, we can really, really want to take care of these guys very I guess this is like a super mini boss, and I, I love how I just try to classify everything as mini boss. But when you have power rounds, bosses can't stand up to the lovely, lovely Mario and his magical mustache. So we just take care of that, and only five for the super, super mini boss. But now we're in the magic. I, I just want to keep on saying magical and stuff like that. But now we're in the fortress that we've seen so many times, and we also snuck into here once with Peach. That the big old rah rah, I'm going to give speeches and be an asshole. Hey, that's, that's not nice. Well, I guess there's also other people who gave speeches and then end up being a hassle. Uh, let me think of one. Oh, yeah, Hitler. That's 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 never a good one. And this carpet looks weird on our feet. And that's that's a great place to keep your car. Just not a whole, just like chilling out there. And I love how he can somehow brought, bring all these fish to the moon. And I should have probably read what that car he was exactly for. And can we... Is there a, no. I always want to think there's things there. And I know I'm going to miss some star point pieces in this left lane. I didn't realize how big of a chair that is. I don't know how I didn't mention that before. That's a huge ass chair. And I, I love his little fish thing. It just looks really cool. And wait. Swim over... Yeah, it's... Two dimensions at its best. When they swim over there, look, they go right back in because it's not like this is a side wall. It's hard to explain three dimensional figures on a two dimensional surface. So let's head back and try to use some of these car keys on those elevators.